our air, land, water, wildlife, plants and soil, our natural resources, provide us with our basic needs, including food, energy, health and enjoyment. When cared for in the right way, they can help us to reduce flooding, supply materials for construction and provide a home for some rare and beautiful wildlife and iconic landscape. But our environment and natural resources are coming under increasing pressure. From climate change, sea level rise, pollution, habitat fragmentation and invasive plants and animals. Decades of work to understand, protect and improve our environment have taken us a long way. But many of our important habitats and wildlife are in decline and some of our rivers are still not meeting European standards. Our efforts to date have taken us so far. We need to adopt a different approach. One that understands how a healthy and resilient environment can also support economic and social prosperity. Our natural resource management trials were set up in early 2014 to test and develop new approaches for carrying out area-based natural resource management planning. We're required to produce area statements as part of the Welsh Government's Environment Bill, due to be launched in 2017. The trials will inform the development of these area statements. At their heart, the trials are about involving people at a local level to understand the issues, gather evidence and look for opportunities for how natural resources can be managed in a way that supports environmental, social and economic prosperity. The Devi catchment has an outstanding natural environment and is one of the most scenic areas in Wales. The geography of the area ranges from the mountains of Aran Vaudui in South Snowdonia to sea level and beaches at Bartha Naber Devi. The area comprises a wide range of habitat types, from blanket bogs in the mountains through woodland and farmland down to the coastal salt marshes, mudflats and sand dunes. Each of these habitat types provides a unique range of ecosystem services that are important to people living in and visiting the Devi. Farmland and woodland deliver services such as food and timber. Blanket bogs provide carbon storage, flood alleviation and wildlife benefits, while sand dunes provide recreation tourism and coastal protection. The Devi has a rich cultural and industrial heritage and was once important for lead mining which has challenges in relation to water quality. The main economic activities are farming, forestry and tourism, but renewable energy also plays an increasingly important role. The area is dominated by the Avon Derby itself and its many tributaries, which provide fertile floodplain, grazing areas, recreational opportunities, as well as spawning grounds for fish. Our approach so far has consisted of three main elements. We've gathered evidence, identified opportunities and are researching a wide range of ecosystem services within the Devi. We're also mapping these services to help us understand where they're delivered. This will enable us, with our partners and stakeholders, to make better decisions about how we manage our natural resources. We cannot successfully do this alone. Working with others is the key to delivering multiple benefits from our natural resources. We also organised a stakeholder event in July, which was a great opportunity for people to share with us their local knowledge and what was important to them. The report of the workshop will be published in September and the issues identified and next steps will be explored in more depth at our second workshop planned for 17th of October. We've also been talking to people at events and exhibitions over the summer, asking them to complete our questionnaires. The main issues raised will be presented and explored at the second workshop. Over the past few months, we've started working on a range of projects as part of the trial. The projects deliver local improvements, add to our evidence base and enables us to learn how we can involve, inform and inspire people about their natural environment. Examples of the projects that are part of the trial are Mapping barriers to fish migration in the Devi Restoring 78 hectares of habitat on ancient woodland sites and understanding contamination caused by the mining legacy in the catchment. As with all our projects, we will use the evidence gathered to inform any work that we do and report the findings. We now need your help in contributing your thoughts and ideas on the priorities and opportunities for the Debbie's amazing natural resources now and in the future.
If you would like more information about the Devi Natural Resource Management Trial, visit naturalresources.wales.devi.